Okay, so in this video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going from these parametric equations to a Cartesian equation equivalent, and we're going to be using trigonometric identities to get there. So you need to really have your eye on the ball with this uh, to be able to identify which trig, in a, uh, tri which trig identity rather you would need to use. So in the majority of cases, they're going to work in a very similar way. If we start with the first one, x equals cos theta plus 2 and y equals sine theta minus 3, what we could do is we could rearrange both of these to get uh, cos theta and sine theta equals. So cos theta would be x minus 2, and sine theta would be equal to y plus 3. And then I can use sine squared plus cos squared is 1. So sine squared is y plus 3 squared plus cos squared, which is x minus 2 squared, must be equal to 1. Okay, And that is us using a trig identity to write those two equations, parametric equations, as a single Cartesian one. Okay, So let's have a look at the second one. We have um, x equals 4 cos theta, y equals 3 sine theta. So I could write cos theta is equal to x over 4, or a quarter of x. And uh, sine theta is equal to y over 3. So that means that y over 3 squared, so sine squared, plus cos squared is equal to 1. OK, and that is my Cartesian equation. Now for the next one, we have x equals 2 tan theta and y equals sec theta plus 1. So let's go with a similar kind of arrangement. So that means that tan theta is x over 2 and sec theta is equal to y minus 1. Now, we have a trig identity that involves both, both tan and sec, OK? So going from sine squared plus cos squared equals 1, we're going to divide both sides by cos squared. So we're going to get tan squared plus 1 is equal to sec squared. So that is going to be the formula, the identity rather, that I use. So tan squared is x over 2 squared plus 1 is equal to sec squared, so y minus 1 squared. OK? And that is the Cartesian equation. I, you can, might notice that I'm not expanding these out, OK? There's not really much point in doing so. So I'm just leaving them as they are. Now with the fourth one, x equals cos 2 theta and y equals sine squared, you've got to remember that cos 2 theta is equal to 1 minus 2 sine squared theta. OK, that's one of the identities that you need to remember for cos 2 theta. So that means that x is equal to 1 minus 2 lots of y. OK, and that's your Cartesian equation. So that was pretty straightforward. Then the last one, x equals tan theta, y equals tan 2 theta. Well, for this one, I'd look at tan 2 theta. And you either remember what that is, or you can look it up um, using the compound angle formula in the uh, formula booklet and put uh, theta plus theta. And you'll get 2 tan theta over 1 minus tan squared theta. So that means that y, which is the tan 2 theta, is equal to 2 lots of tan theta, so 2 lots of x over 1 minus tan squared, so 1 minus x squared. Okay? And that is the Cartesian equation for number 5.